Last week, Governor Hochul announced the completion of a major coastal resiliency effort to restore shoreline damaged by Superstorm Sandy and protect the newly renovated historic Montauk Point Lighthouse for many generations to come. We're making these public investments in, in the landscape uh, for good reason. I mean, we're starting to see the effects of climate change now at an increased rate, increased severity all across the state. It's really important to take those public dollars and put them to use for projects uh, that will enhance our, our ability to adapt to severe weather. Through a partnership between DEC and U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, approximately 1,000 feet of stone revetment was rebuilt on the easternmost point of Long Island, including new armor stones weighing between 10 and 20 tons each. This is the latest <laughs> joint project between state and federal agencies to rebuild beaches and shorelines in the decades since Hurricane Sandy battered Long Island and countless shoreline communities in Nassau and Suffolk counties. So this is the 53rd out of 60 um, projects coming out of Hurricane Sandy. So we've got five more currently in construction and then, and then with two more to go. We are very proud of the teamwork between the federal, state, and local level. And it's a great example of what we can do as a community and as a nation. The future of New York's historic Montauk Point Lighthouse remains rock solid thanks to state and federal investments to rebuild the coastline and restore this important New York treasure originally commissioned by President George Washington in 1792. So what you've seen here is not just the protection of this from the sea, but also uh, grants that were made in order to restore the lighthouse itself, to make sure the lighthouse remains standing even now as we protected the land on which it sits.